Hello everyone, I'm Mark Eddington, the Head of Grant Management at the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria. On behalf of the Global Fund, I would like to thank you, our country implementers, for all the hard work this year. We recognise the immense workload and the multiple competing priorities you faced working with the Global Fund Partnership, but also within the global health landscape in general. Many of you have been successfully completing funding requests, going through grant making, as well as C19RM revisions and reinvestments. As we get ready for 2024, let's also pause to recognize our achievements. Together, we have made remarkable progress in 2023, while still recovering from the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. But our efforts to mitigate the impact of the pandemic have paid off, thanks to your and your colleagues' hard work. Programs for HIV, TB and malaria have recovered to exceed 2019 levels in prevention and treatment programs. For C19RM, we have shifted the focus of investments to respond to your prioritized needs in RSSH, strengthening health systems and PPR, pandemic preparedness in your country. We have a unique opportunity to leverage these funds to make health systems more resilient and prepare for the next pandemic, complementing your grant cycle seven investments. But despite the positive news, the fight is not over. We must sustain the momentum and get back on track to achieve the global goals by 2030. However challenging that will be, and it is a difficult landscape. Together, we continue to face innumerable challenges, including climate change, conflict, the erosion of human rights and inequalities. In addition, our board met last month and discussed the work of the Global Fund ahead and stressed the importance of domestic financing. Considering the difficult financial constraints in many countries, both donor and implementing countries, they express support to further explore innovative financing. We must get more money into this fight. As we work through the last year of Grant Cycle 6 grants and start new grants in 2024, the Global Fund Partnership must continue to work together to accelerate implementation and part of this means starting up the new grants from day one, January 1, 2024. It will be important for each country to focus on areas where your country can show the success of investments. Prioritizing interventions will be key to be able to show the most impact. Country stakeholders will need to tell a compelling story in view of the next replenishment in 2025. In closing, I'd like to thank you again for your commitment and hard work. And I look forward to working together with you in 2024. For those of you celebrating end of year festivities, I wish you a very good time with your families, peace and good health. And I look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.